Decisions. Decisions. Okay. Decisions on what you should do before sending your cars to PSA. Let's find out today. Let's go. What's going on everybody? Welcome to JRuth Gaming. How is everyone today? I'm excited. We open up that big case. We got 20 cards today going out to a PSA to get graded. And the questions I got today is fun. Obviously, which 20? Which 20 did we pick from all the cards we have opened here on channel? Some cards actually got from breaks, all that. But really, the goal today is to get inside my head, right? And figure out what's the strategies that I use to pick the cards. Cause we have like tons of those boxes, tons of those cases, a lot of cards, a lot of hits here on the channel. So the question is, which cards? Why are we sending these cards to PSA? What was the process, the whole nine? So today that's what we're kind of talk about, iron out the details. So before I get into it though, listen, this is my personal opinions, my personal strategies that I use for me. The hobby is who do you collect? That's the hashtag, right? So you guys do what you want. This is not financial advice by any means. I'm a random guy here on the internet, all right? This is just getting inside my head what I think about when I get these submissions. I get I got 20 cards this time around. So PSA right now is doing if you're a member for PSA, for 99 bucks for the year, you can be a PSA member twice a week, typically Tuesdays and Thursdays at, at noon, um, EST for, for noon, um, you get a chance to win allocation to get the $50 limit for your cards. That's the cheapest way to do it so far. Out of all the brands, there's PSA, they're Beckett. So when you determine which cards you're picking, okay? It's very important to pick which brand, PSA or Beckett. So Beckett is top tier, PSA is top tier as well, just underneath, all right? So a lot of decisions, this is not a which to pick, this is more of which cards that I pick, the strategies I'm using for PSA. So we got 20, PSA we're rolling with today, and uh, let's go, let's go right at it now. With the Beckett in mind, right? These cards, I believe, will not get a Beckett 10 or a Black Label 10. So these are realistically either 9.5s for Beckett or a PSA 10. All right. So like, there's something either in about it that I seen a little flaw, or their cards that you know what? I just wouldn't spend the money for Beckett. Beckett is more expensive than PSA right now if you're the membership. All right. So the first card. Let's get to the cards. Right. First card we pulled here, um, this is NBA time. So as I'm selecting which cards, I wanted NBA and NFL, okay? So the NBA is playoff time. It's fun, it's exciting. NFL is warming up. Some trades, some signings are happening. So there's a lot of buzz still with the NFL. So NBA time is here. So I wanted to get one of the baddest guys in the league right now john morant now first things first i don't work for panini right so i don't have every card underneath the sun these are literally cards that i've pulled on channel or i've won in breaks you know what i mean whatever okay so john morant rookie card from mosaic uh i have not gotten a lot of cards graded from mosaic yet so i would say these this is at least at least a nine i could get a ten um, but I don't know exactly how, really, it's tough to figure out the centering. Now, I didn't clean any of these cards yet, which is just a, a micro cloth going in and dig it in and cleaning it. But just from the naked eye looking, I didn't see any mark or anything like that on any of these cards. So, Ja Morant is card number one we are going with. I believe that Ja is going to be absolutely, he's already insane. But I think, but his rookie cards are not that expensive yet. I just don't think the league is like caught on how good this kid is, how dominant he is, how explosive he is. I've been saying, I have, not on channel anyway, just off camera to friends and whatnot, the sports we're living in today, right? It's like the change of the guard. 
You have new quarterbacks, big boy new quarterbacks coming in. NBA is the same. The LeBron James, like that era, they're leaving. They're leaving. And a new wave of stars are coming in. And there's a ton of them under the age of like 25. It's nuts. It's nuts. Ja is one of them. And these guys, I'm calling it like the attitude error. I really am. Think about Joe Burrow, right? Just attitude. Just, I'm better than you. I'm going to come out. I'm going to game, right? Ja, there is a ton. Luca, right? There is so many. It's Trey Young. I can go. I can do this all day. I won't. I won't. This is crazy. So the fact that I'm sending in John Morant to kick us off, I just think that I really think he's going to go through the roof. I really do. I love watching him. It's exciting. So we're starting off here. We're starting off strong, I think, with a mosaic John Morant. Now, mind you, every card I'm paying at least 50 bucks for. Now, it's probably after taxes, shipping, all of that, insurances, it's probably more like 55, 60 bucks a card. So in the process of picking the card, you want to make sure, hey, I'm getting it back as well, right? I'm getting at least 50, I could get at least 50 bucks a card if you're doing trade shows, if you're selling online or whatever it is, or there's a couple PC cards in here. I just want them in the slab, right? I just want to protect them, right? So all things you should think about going in. Ja, absolutely. Now, going with Ja, his teammate defenses should prepare for Ja, right? I'm expecting Memphis to make a deep run this year. Now, if you're a defender going against Ja, you're going to shut down Ja. Your whole thing is going to be Ja this, Ja that, whatever. Well, guess what? His teammate Desmond Bain should have an amazing off, well, not off season, playoffs. Should do absolutely crazy. Desmond Bain, Prism. This is top tier um, rookie card material, Prism card. I'm not talking about Flawless or any of those big expensive hobby brands. Base Prism is what you want, okay? Now you can get silver, you can get cracked ice, all of that, whatever. Remember, this is, what I did was these players, I went through I wanted Desmond Bain, so I went through all my Desmond Bain cards and I picked out this one, right? So other cards coming up, I kind of went through all of them. That's the guy I want, right? So Desmond Bain, I believe, is going to be what T. Higgins did, right? Remember what T. Higgins did in the Super Bowl? Not, yeah, in the Super Bowl, right? His cards went through the roof because everyone was worried about the other guy and worried about Burrow. Just crazy. Right? I can't why can't I think of the other guy right now? He won offensive rookie of the year. I am totally on I am totally on Jamar Chase. Yes, Jamar Chase. That's what it is. Jamar Chase. He's coming up later, by the way. Ha! So everyone was focused on Jamar Chase, similar to everyone's gonna be focusing on John ja Morant. T. Higgins had a great Super Bowl. Price went through the roof. Bain, in my opinion, that's what I think is gonna happen. That's why I want Desmond Bain. And listen, he's a shooter. He's built different. He's like a linebacker out there. The kid's just jacked out of his mind. I like him. I think he's going to do good. I think Memphis is going to be great for a long long time. So I think Bain's value is going to go up, 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 and up. So Desmond Bain, rookie card. Uh, part of this video I like doing as well, guys. Let me know in the comments section what you believe these cards will get graded. When I get them back, we'll do a reveal video and uh, see how close you guys were. I actually think this is going to get a 10. Um, I don't see a reason why for centering, why I would get a 9. It's really the one thing you could look at. The corners, everything looked decent for the corners and the, and the edges. So I can't see why I wouldn't get a 10, but who knows. Now, let's stick with his rookie class for a little bit. Uh, so this is last year's, right? It's LaMelo Ball, Ant-Man, all those guys, right? This card coming up, this player, um, I really hesitated. I, I was, I didn't want to put him in this batch, but I like him. I love the team. That player is Isaiah Okoru. Now, before you're like, really, you picked him? Just hear me out. I watch a lot of basketball. The Cavs are going to be absolutely insane about three to five years. They're young. They're in, think about the last three years they drafted. Garland, Okoru, and Mobley. Nuts! Insane players! Now, I picked this card one because I love the blue velocity of this. Look at that. Look at that. I love this. And I know the centering is off on it. So I wanted an, I wanted an Okoru card. I wanted a rookie card. So I went through, and this was, this was my favorite one. Remember, who do you collect? I wanted this kid in a slab 
This was kind of one of those things where it's going to be my three to five year investment. I don't think they're going to move away from him. I actually think their mission with this kid is to bulk him up. He plays big. He just does. Why? I don't know. It's a small forward. But like they play him more like a stretch four. Like it's it's weird. But like anytime a guard's put up against him, he just takes him in the block and he does some awesome post moves and the, the kid's good. So I think they just gotta figure out how to perfect him in, in their system. Because now they got a big Mobley, they got an unreal guard, all-star guard Garland. So it's like, okay, cool. Let's figure out his game. And the team's gonna be awesome. Get a couple more vets in their role players. So I wanted this guy. I think he's gonna get a nine. Everything else is super, super clear on it. Isaac Okoru is our card number three. Now, same process. All of these NBA players, okay? What I like to do first, before I go on any further, look at the East, look at the West. Playoff time. Top 10 teams, right? Now, I know teams got eliminated. I get it. But. Those top 10 teams from each side, they're good. They're good, right? They're good enough that most likely the rosters aren't going to change too much, and they should make it next year in next year's playoff. So the rookies, right, from this year's class and last year's class, even the class before that, if they're on that team, their value should keep going up if they continue to be put in the playoffs. So... The Spurs. I know they got eliminated. I get it. Devin Vassell. His value has been increasing. They just got eliminated, so his value is going to come down. All Spurs should come down. It's realistic. It's the end of the season for them. I get it. But this kid, scoring a ton of points with the Spurs, right? Playing a lot of time with the Spurs. Spurs are not fancy. No one reminds me of the Spurs I'm not comparing him to Kawhi Leonard, but Kawhi for years was doing the same thing, slowly going up. And next thing you know, top of the NBA world. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to get one of the players that the Spurs rookie-wise was using a lot. This young man was that guy, the hyper pink here for Donruss Optic rated rookie, Devin Vassell, playing very, very good ball. Had a great season. Once again, this and Okoru were probably out of the whole lot of 20 cards were the only two that I just wanted in a slap for the long term. It's how I think. It's how I think. I look at literally top 10 teams from each side of the ball, each side of the, uh, the conferences, and just say, okay, cool. You're t you, the Spurs are in it. Cool. What rookies do I have that I think, you know what? They're using them a lot. He's going to do good. Boom, this guy. So here we go. Devin and Vassal moving right along. Now, the next three cards is my boy Tyrese Maxey. Boom! We got red cracked ice. Tyrese Maxey. Put my personal, personal love for this guy and the team aside. His value is going up like every day. It just is. He's absolute freak. Um, when I seen the price of this card, actually, I was I was actually very, very surprised. Um, that's that high already. So I think this could easily get a 10 if, not, if it's not going to go lower than a 9. Uh, stunning card, red cracked ice for Prism. Once again, Prism is best tier. Maxi, um, I, there's really not much more to say about Maxi. Uh, I don't think he got a lot of love his rookie year. This is his second year, and he is stepping up. Obviously, I watch a lot of Philly games, so I see the detailed plays of him, this kid's going to be a star. Embiid's going to overshadow him, right? Um, Harden's going to overshadow him, right? So those guys are going to take the spotlight. This kid, I'm telling you, is going, it's already turning out to be a stud player. So I want to slap him up every time I get a PSA submission. I'm going to send in at least a handful of maxi cards. Red cracked ice. On that same conversation, we got another maxi card this time. Select, I do love select. Tyrese Maxi, the premier level. I don't see a reason why this also does not get a 10 unless the front and the back, unless that needs to be shifted down, which I don't know. I haven't graded a lot of select, especially premier level to see like, does the whole image have to be centered or is that the actual design and you're just worried about the right and the left? I'm not too sure. Edges corner look good. 
So we'll say at least a 9 plus. Um, once again, the silver premier level for our boy here, Tyrese Maxi. Now, got one more Maxi card coming up, but this is very important. Very, very important. We just did a review on Donruss. Okay? Donruss, Megas, Blasters, the Cello Packs. NBA playlist back on the channel once you're done with this video. If you want to check it out, go for it. I said that they were the worst retail boxes that I've literally opened. The Mega Boxes. But here's the thing. Donruss for base, for the base parallels are very good. Okay, they just are. I wish the boxes were lowered up a little bit more. But I just want you to check out these next couple cards here. Okay. Tyrese Maxi, the green and yellow, yellow green laser. Stunning card. I believe this will get, um, definitely get probably a nine plus. It has a good chance to get a 10 also. Once again, guys, this, so Tyrese Maxi, big time card, right? These are the products that are on the shelves right now. For Cade Cunningham, for Scotty Barnes, for Evan Mobile. These are the products that are literally sitting on the shelf. No one's caring about them. Look up these prices. Look at the prices for a LaMelo Ball card like this. Check out the prices for an Anthony Edwards. Check out this card price for Max. Check this out now. I won't say it when what I declared it at. Check it out. Check it out. It's nuts. And they're sitting on the shelf. Now, it's not a fun rip. It's a boring rip. But the product inside could be valuable depending on how the player does. So this is a guy, that's just a little speck. I got, like I said, I gotta go back and clean these before I actually mail them out, but I wanna get the video out here to you guys. This card, the type of card it is, definitely has, definitely has some, some good value over time. So, same, same thought process, Anthony Edwards. Here's that laser again, a different kind of it. Orange laser this time. This kid, if Minnesota makes a deep run, you're gonna see Anthony Edwards cards, moon, just skyrocket. So I went back, I think should we get a 10 as well. A lot of these, I, I really believe we're gonna get a 10. Last batch that we did, I was a little bit questionable on them. It was actually more heavy towards the nines, but these cards here should get some nice tens here. Anthony Edwards doing some unreal things in the playoffs, just, and what I love about it, he's not afraid to shoot the ball. He's a big boy. He's actually like, he's, I'm pretty sure, is he listed as, what is he listed as, 6'5"? He does, he definitely doesn't play like it though. Definitely doesn't play like it at all. And he just shoots the rock. Check out how many three-pointers he shoots a game. It's a lot. So this is great. I am pumped about this. Another expensive card for, um, it's just an expensive card. Let's put it that way. Raw it is. So get a grade of PSA 10 couple hundred bucks right there so thrilled about it and once again this year's class are sitting on the shelves right now they just are because no one wants them because they're not there's no numbered cards i think panini really did them dirty but the cards inside could turn into something a big hit like this so thrilled about that and then the lastly from that class from that class we got the one and only lamello ball we got once again it's the same product not a laser but the base but the base form of this, and it's worth the grade. It's worth the grade for sure. Now, what's unfortunate is the $50 fee for it comes back at 10, which it really does look clean. It might be a little heavy on that side, but PSA for centering um, is not as strict as Beckett. So, and it's a clean card everywhere else. Lamelo Ball is absolutely insane. The thing that's crazy about him is he's going to be one of the biggest superstars in years to come because of his social media presence, his following. The kid's a stud outside of basketball. So that's what's going to make him just popular and everyone's going to want his cards, everything he does. So definitely always, he's like on my maxi, right? Every time I send maxi and I kind of want to send LaMelo Ball card in. This is his a base rated rookie card from Donner. Thrilled to send in LaMelo Ball at least one. Now, see where I'm going with that. It was a lot of Donner's. But that's what's out now. So these next section of rookies are NBA from this current year. So this is where it gets interesting. Same thought process with Okoru, with Devin, right? 
players that are getting love now in their rookie year that are on good teams and have a potential to make a run in the playoffs and have just the cameras on them, right? So the first one is Herbert Jones. You might say, what? That's who you're sending in? Yes. At one point throughout the season, all rookies, he led in scoring. He played, I want to say it was the most or second most minutes on the Pelicans, and he scored the most for that win that Pelicans had over the Spurs. That's important. He is a rookie, and he's doing, he's leading the scoring in minutes, either second minutes or whatever it was, first ever playoff game against the Spurs. Guys, that's a big deal, and there's no Zion here yet. That's crazy. Actually, did he... Let me think about that one more time. Did he lead the points? Did he lead the points or McCollum lead the points? You know what? McCollum led. He didn't score a lot. It was Devin that's Devin led scoring. But he led most of the rookies in scoring throughout the season, which is crazy. So, absolutely thrilled to send this in. I like the Teal Explosion card here. Guys, if Zion comes back, that team is going to be absolutely loaded. And he stays. He's in the warm-ups. Uh, Herbert Jones in the teal. Um, I think it's going to get a 9. I'm not sure what this orange here, if it's going to throw off the centering or not. He's a guy that, once again, I want to get slabbed up and just put away. That team's going to be really good at Zion, as I said. Now, going, staying, I should say staying in the west, right? Or going east. I forget. Where are the Pelicans? Pelicans east. Going out west. Great expectations here. Jonathan Kuminga is the guy I wanted. He's getting a lot of love. Getting a lot of love, a lot of praise over there in GSW. Now, depending what Seth does, what Stephen Curry does, we shall see if Kuminga is going to continue to do well over there in Golden State. So this was another thing, guys. This is the same product sitting on the shelf. These cards are really cool. This is the, this is the, um, <clears throat> the hollow teal laser for great expectations. Just the guy I wanted to sleeve up once again or get slabbed up, okay? A couple of these guys, you're gonna question, I understand it. But there's 20 cards, you gotta you gotta think about the future for some of these cards. You gotta gamble a little bit. This is what I do, you, you can do whatever you want. This is what I do. I look at who's playing, who's hot, and who has, listen, Golden State's gonna go, I think they're gonna go deep in playoffs. This guy's gonna get a lot of, a lot of experience. That is crazy, and to be this good, this young, um, that's great. So Jonathan coming in there, moving right along to Evan Mobley. Once again, Maxi was the same type of card here, that green, yellow, yellow, green laser, whatever it's called. Evan Mobley, this guy's sitting on the shelves. Go get the product. Understand it's going to be a boring rip. You're going to be very, very frustrated opening it. There's not going to be numbered cards or anything like that, but you can get these cards. And Evan Mobley, I am really impressed with that first playoff game. Yes, they got beat by Brooklyn, but what a game he had. Just watching the details of, you know, play-by-play, play, he really knows what he's doing. The team is going to be crazy, which is why I wanted to sleeve up at least one Evan Mobley card, rookie card. This was the best one I had, so it's getting sent in. It's tough to tell if we're centering on this. I think at least, a nine, like I said, all these are at least going to be a 9. So I won't give it the 10 because I, I, I just, it's tough to tell with these. My eye kind of goes all over the place. Eh, but it is what it is. Now, the next two, it will be the last two for NBA. Then we're going to go into some NFL cards. The next two are going to be base Donruss cards. But listen, they're from two studs. One from the Chicago Bulls, Io. Guys, look up his stats. Watch him play. He's an exciting player. If the Bulls make a pass, I think it's the Bucks they face, which, listen, Bucks are Bucks are crazy. They might win the whole thing. That's, that's coming from a Sixer fan. So, if the Bulls beat them, Io's value is going to go through the roof, I think. I think he's going to have a great postseason here. I think he's going to have a good playoff run. And once again, it's a guy I'm investing in the future. I think he's going to have a great year two, year three, and so on and so forth. I just think it's going to be good. I think I can get a 10 out of this, and I want at least one card sleeved up. And the last guy who might win the rookie of the year, Scotty Barnes. No introduction needed. The kid's a stud. I, you're not getting past Philly, though, Scotty. You're not doing it. 
they might get past Philly. I don't know. And Joel needs to go into like a new beast mode that like we haven't seen before, which I think he will. But Scotty Barnes there, stud player. Like I gotta get in there and clean it and uh, reorganize and recenter the card. But um, another card I might be able to get a tent on. I didn't pull any lasers of Scotty or anything like that or IO, so I just had the base card. But once again, these products are sitting out there in the shelves. I would get it. Lomelo Ball's base, I think it's over 100 bucks for a PSA 9, 10. It is. This kid turned out to be good. It could be the same deal, and those boxes are just sitting there on the shelf now. Just a thought, guys. Just a thought. Scotty Barnes. Now, NFL time. NFL time. We got a couple cards here. I think it's only seven more. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six NFL cards. It was NBA heavy because the timing of this, right? The timing of when I send these in for a $50 value, it's all a lottery. So if you get the picks, you have, you know, two weeks to send in. So NBA is a long season. The, the playoffs is long. People don't realize how long it is. So I might be able to get these cards back before the playoff ends. Who knows, depending on a lot of things. So NFL time, the focus for me, when I think NFL, who's hot, who's not, some OGs, and case hits. Case hits are only mosaic Genesis card that we hit here. Nothing crazy for the name uh, Nuangu here. Um, Vikings card, pretty cool, but I do grade every single case hit I get, no matter who the player is. So it's what I do. Every case hit I think is worth it. Increase that value. There is PC guys everywhere. So I always sleeve up a case hit. Um, this is kind of, it's not a case hit. It's more of a, I'll just show it. Jar Chase from a limited, the correct name for this is the 2000 limited tribute rookies. So there was uh, for a limited hobby, there was, there's one card like this in every box. So for us to get the offensive rookie of the year, Jamar Chase was crazy. Now I won this in a break, so I didn't open any of this on channel. Still super happy about it. I believe the first week it was out. These cards raw were going for at least 250, which is absolutely insane. Now every card, if you notice, has these pink like pen lines. Literally every card I've ever seen has those same. So it had to be something when they were printing these out. So I'm very curious to see how PSA grades this, if they're actually going to mark it as a surface or if it's, I have no idea what they're going to do with it. So we shall see how this grades, if it's possible. I didn't see any of these graded out there. So we shall see. Sticking with Jamar Chase. We've opened up a lot of mosaic. I have a ton of mosaic coming up still too. I got mega boxes. I got a ton of mega boxes. It's crazy. So I'm pumped to get them. But Jamar Chase has been dodging me like crazy until I was able to pull this. Color match the orange reactive. Absolutely insane. This is his true base rookie card. I love it. Um, but the wide receivers don't go for too, too crazy. It's more of the quarterback for football. But I wanted to get the color match in a slab. I hope we can get a 10. Once again, Mosaic is kind of tough to tell for centering. Um, there's, I have so many different tools out there. I don't trust any of them. So we'll see what they grade it. But there we go. Guys, before I go any further, there's a handful of cards left. I want to show you. One, two. You see the third one? Three hobby boxes of playbook coming at you tomorrow night live right here at jruth gaming is to celebrate our 1000 subscriber mark guys thank you so much it's been so much fun i do pokemon videos nba nfl we do reviews go on hans we're just here to have a good time and sometimes on friday nights we go live and we just have a blast so that's what we're opening up all three i'm actually nervous about it isn't it it's gonna be an expensive break so guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Come hang out with us here tomorrow night. Hit the notification bell so you'll know when the video goes live. I'll be posting on our social media handles uh, later tomorrow to find out exactly what time. So either way, hit the bell so you know. And give us a thumbs up if you guys like the content. Those social media handles are going to show up on your screen. TikTok and Instagram. I'll make sure to post what time we are going live tomorrow rip and open those boxes now let's get to the final we got three cards here 
I really think these cards are big boy cards, in my opinion. I just do. The first one we hit out of a longevity rookies in Starbucks. That's right, Mac Jones. Check it out. We got the Mac Jones blue, and it is a numbered two out of 50. Now, the centering is definitely slightly off here. The left side, the white border is definitely a little bit, it's slightly bigger than the right, but I don't think it's that bad. So I think this could realistically get a 10. It might sneak it, um, depending on how all the corners and edges do. And everything looks pretty good. So I'm at least expecting a nine. Mac Jones, just for strategy, is a guy that I am trying to send in at least one card. He's kind of like Lamelo, it's kind of like Maxi always send in a Mac Jones card. So I'll just dig through the collection, find a decent one. Make sure you at least get 50 bucks back, send Mac Jones. Now the GOAT of football, Mr. Tom Brady, sticking, sticking with the rookies and stars. You're gonna say, why is this so special? It's just a white hollow airborne, right? It's numbered guys. It's numbered 26 out of 149, a uh, Tom Brady numbered card absolutely pumped about this for sure there's i haven't seen much of these online for sale out of 149 it's a lot a lot of it's just this card there's a, there's a, a card that looks just like this without the number so to get the numbered one and get it graded he is another guy always try to send in the goat either him or lebron i try to do now lebron because he got limited early i think his value is going to come down a little bit I just do so I didn't want to send LeBron cards in this video but I definitely want to send at least one goat which is Tom Brady so there we go numbered to 149 uh, grading on this can be a little bit difficult to tell just because the image here is kind of all over the place so at least a nine but we're hoping for a ten and another goat once again from Tom Brady this these were really interesting you got this from a break these were from you had to get them from Panini's direct website for points. They were those little XR packs. I entered a break for Tampa and we pulled an extra, extra Tom Brady, nine out of 25. Absolutely insane. Tom Brady, extra, extra, just nuts. Just, I was literally losing my mind, insane. So that's it. That was card number 20. I don't know what's this gonna get. Um, it, if you actually look at the border here, it, it looks pretty even throughout. So I'm guessing a t that'd be crazy if I get a 10 here. And that's just part of the design there. So we shall see. But guys, there's the music coming in. We'll give a quick recap on everything. All 20 of these cards being sent into PSA within a day or so. If not, if they're sent in already. So pump. They're not standing they're right here in my hands. I shot this a few hours ago. Here we go. What do you think about this collection? I'm pumped about it for sure. We'll have to go back. I'll have to make sure they're all cleaned up. But there you have it, guys. There's the video. Hey, I appreciate you being here, hanging out with us. And don't forget, we have Playbook Hobby Boxes live tomorrow. And we have a ton of stuff coming up this weekend. Probably gonna dip into the newest NFL Mosaic Mega Boxes. We got a ton of them. We got a lot of them, not gonna lie to you. So we'll see how many we open up and how many we're safer in next year. We'll figure it out. Either way, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Have a great night. Enjoy yourself. Take care.